The extraordinary National Delegates Conference of the New Patriotic Party, NPP, has ended in the Ashanti regional capital of Kumasi with the adoption of an amended constitution of the party. While a greater number of the propositions for the amendments were rejected, others were adopted by the delegates. President Akufuado, who is also the leader of the party, led the crusade for the rejection of motions which seeks to deny members of the party abroad the right to contest for any national position. We are proud to have it. The Kumasi conference was purposely to consider proposals made in Cape Coast for amendment of some provisions of the party's constitution, which could not be discussed due to time constraints. It was participated by more than 4,000 delegates from home and abroad. The acting national chairman, Mr. Philip Blay, explained that the proposed amendment of the constitution was crucial in making the constitution a living document for the changing times. Everybody here and outside is looking up to our party to have a good constitution, to help our government, to help Lana and Kufuado, President of the Republic, to bring the goodies and deliver on its own message. It is still our team delivering on our promises, bringing this country to where it belongs. On his part, the Acting General Secretary, Mr. Bodu, said between January and June next year, all the internal party elections will be conducted, beginning from the polling station, to be clamors for the Quadrina National Delegate Congress to elect national executive officers. Mr. Bodu disclosed also that very soon, the NPP will also establish its ideological training institute to nurture leaders for the party. The leader of the NPP, President Kufu, had noted that his government has started implementing the party's key campaign promises. He pledged to do whatever is humanly possible to keep the party in government and asked that all stakeholders of the party to play their respective roles to support that objective. I'm asking you, let us remain united and confident. We are on the right path and soon it will be all obvious to everybody. Our race is not a sprint. It is a cross country. It is a marathon race. And we're going to win at the end, not just at the beginning. I want us to have a business-like conference and make it clear to Ghanaians that we are indeed the natural and proper party of government for Ghana. In all, there were 87 motions for amendment that covered almost all articles of the party's constitution. Most of them were proposed by the party's parliamentary group, with a few individuals and external branches also making proposals. During the amendment process, led by the first national vice chairman, Mr. Frederick Fidua Anto, who chaired the ad hoc constitution amendment committee, some of the proponents, including the parliamentary group, would do their respective proposals since the trend of voting clearly was not in their favor. The Senate branch of the party were very happy for the rejection of the attempt to deprive them of their right and privilege to contest for and hold any party position. The chairman of the NPP UK branch, Mr. Michael Ansa, noted the decision will now boost the confidence of the NPP members in the diaspora to continue to contribute resources to the party.